So Rachel's going to start off our running routine here with squats. I'm sure you're all familiar with this. Great for hip and ankle mobility and a warm up for running. Here, spread your feet a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. You can adjust your toe position. Some people like to have their toes splayed out a bit. You do a few reps and then you're going to hang out the bottom, pushing your knees out, get a good stretch. Up next we have squats with hip internal rotation. So how deep you go is up to you and your condition. But what you're going to do here is let your knee drop inward. And so you're working on hip internal rotation. It's good for uh, not just flexibility, but just an awareness of where your hips are and where your knees are in relation to your hips. It's good for analyzing your running gait and pattern. Moving on to the modified pigeon stretch, working on stretching out the glutes. Again, looking at your hip position and awareness. You notice here Rachel is moving forward towards that front knee. Next up, upper thoracic extension. We're working on your spinal mobility, specifically your upper back backward bending motion. Helps with your running posture. A lot of times the miles drag on and the hunch, this will help alleviate that. Along with that, quadruped twist. So still working mainly on the upper back. The twist gives a little bit more stretch, a little bit more mobility, and then add some core activation work. finish up this running routine, we're going to use the A-frame exercise and modify it a bit so one leg is in front of the other. With that knee bent, you'll be able to stretch the calf and the hamstring on the straighter leg a little bit more, be able to do some dynamic repetitions, and then end with a good static stretch. Get your hamstrings and calves warmed up, ready to run. <laughs> 